Okay, so now we talk about normal subgroups of Sn for n less or equals n5. So let's start with n equal to 2. And that's really easy. S2 is the same thing as z over 2z. And it's simple. Okay, nothing interesting happens here. So what about n equal to 3? And let's suppose that H uh, is a non-trivial normal subgroup. So it's a subgroup of S3 and it is not S3, not identity. So um, uh, then of course order of H so since it's a number dividing 6, not equal to 1, not equal to 6, uh, can be equal to 2 or 3. And then, so uh, let's look at our group. And yeah, so this is one idea. And another idea is that H is a union of conjugacy classes. So the reason is very simple. We know if we conjugate any element in H, we get again an element in H. And so what it means, it means that, um, uh, okay, so uh, if you look at various classes of conjugacy elements, H should be union of several of those. Then uh, this is equivalent uh, to the fact that, uh, that conjugate to an element in H is again in H. And now we can just uh, draw this picture which we have seen a few times. So we have identity permutation, we have 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. And this is our picture of S3, and these are conjugacy classes. So let's see which elements can be contained in H. So and then the argument is as follows. So if, if a transposition, transposition ij is contained inside H, then all of them, all of them are in H. But then, of course, since uh, S3 is generated by transpositions, it means H equals to the whole group. And so we know that these things are not in uh, our subgroup. Uh, but, but then uh, it can be either identity or identity unions with this class, because definitely a subgroup contains identity and it should be a union of several conjugacy classes. So then uh, uh, we conclude that if H is not trivial, then H should be equal to this E union with 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. And the question is, is it a subgroup? So it is a subgroup, it is a subgroup. And so what we get is that then S3 has a unique non-trivial subgroup. And, and the subgroup is uh, namely A3. Ah, and by the way, I said n less or equals n5, and I will do just less or equals n4. Okay, so, uh, and by the way, this is something to remember very well. So there are, if you want to set subset of G to be a normal subgroup, you need to satisfy two conditions. One of them, it's a union of conjugacy classes. So every conjugacy class is either there or completely not there. So it's a union of conjugacy classes, definitely containing one, and it has to be a subgroup. And usually we first look at subgroups and then we check that, you know, it satisfies this condition. But if you have a problem like that, you're trying to find 
all normal subgroups and you know S4 for instance has a lot of different subgroups which are not normal it makes more sense to look at conjugacy classes first so uh, you, we first look at conjugacy classes and then we try to check whether certain union of those uh, will be a normal subgroup so now let's take S4 and let's again look at the diagram we have Okay, so uh, what uh, conjugacy classes do we have? We have identity, then uh, we have this class where we have transposition. So let me say just one element, one, two. And this class has size six, six transpositions. And then we have this one, two, three cycle. And this class will have eight elements. So then we have one, two, three, four pair of cycles, and this has three elements. So finally, there is this one, two, three, four cycle, and it has, um, let's see, six, three, ten, eighteen. This one has six elements, and that's it. So let me label them in some way. So this will be C0. C1, C2, C3, C4. And uh, H should be a union of several of them. And definitely we know that H uh, contains... Yeah, so H is, is... So let H be this non-trivial normal subgroup of H4, of S4. So H inside S4 and H is non-trivial. So by the same logic, we know that H could not contain transpositions. So uh, C1 intersect H is empty. Because otherwise, it, if it contains transposition, then uh, um, uh, it uh, will contain all of them because it's normal. And then it will be the whole group because the whole group is generated by transpositions. So, um, okay, so this class is totally not... Uh, there. Um, next, uh, we can look at the case uh, what happens with one, two, three cycle containing it. So um, let's assume that uh, um, C2 is inside H. So if C2 is inside H, um, then uh, we can try to understand uh, uh, what, uh, uh, sorry, uh, C2, so if uh, H contains C2, so what it means, it contains some cycle of length 3. So then uh, we can try to understand what H actually is. So we know that uh, 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 it implies that the order of H is greater or equal than 9. And the reason is because C2 has eight elements, also there is identity, so it's greater or equal than nine. On the other hand, we know that the order of our group S4 is 24, and uh, so the order of H, if we just list all divisors, can be equal to two, three, uh, four, six, eight, 12. It cannot be one, it cannot be 24, and these are all numbers uh, which divide uh, 24. Am I right? Hopefully. Okay. Um, and if it is greater or equal than 9, then it means that h is equal to 12. So then h is equal to, the order of h equals to 12. So what we need to do, we need to add another uh, three elements there. And we know that uh, if we add uh, four cycle or a transposition, then it will be uh, uh, of bigger order. So it cannot, uh, is not an option. So actually the only way we do it, we just add the three elements. So what it means, it means that H is actually union of C0 union with C3 union with C2. And actually uh, what it means, it means that it contains Okay, product of two transpositions, uh, non-intersecting two cycles, three cycle, identity, and of course, this is a very familiar group, it's just all even permutations. So if our group contains a three cycle, 
then it has to be subgroup of even permutations. And that's, of course, as we know, a normal subgroup of S4. Okay, let's see what other options do we have. So now we can assume that it doesn't intersect with C1 and it doesn't intersect with C2. So it can either, uh, it either contains C3 or C4 or both of them. There are three options, basically. Okay, so now let's look at these options. So, uh, so there are three options. So, three options left. And these three options are, so we know C1 uh, and C2 don't intersect with H. So, so, so if, so if, if H is not uh, the whole group S4, not identity and not A4, uh, then uh, there are these three options left. So one of them is H is C0 union C3. Uh, option that H is C0 union C4. And finally, H is C0 union C3 union C4. So let's try to think whether they can happen. So C0 union C4 will have seven elements. So order of H is equal to seven. And so this cannot happen. So this, this never happens. Oops. Simply because we know that order of H is one of these numbers. So uh, what about the next case? So C0 union C3 union C4, uh, four, plus 6 is order of h will be equal to 10. And order of h equal to 10 is also not an option, because again, 10 is not here, so this cannot happen. And finally, there is this option. And remember, that's exactly... So, so h is this group containing four permutations, identity, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, 4, 2, 3, and that was called Klein's group. Klein's group. Klein's group. And uh, the name for it is usually V4. V4. And remember, indeed, so there is, there is this, then H is a kernel of homomorphism from S4 to S3 which we discussed when we discussed homomorphisms. So if you have normal subgroups, so H is so, let's just write down the conclusion. So H is normal inside S4, then there are four options. So either H is identity, or it's a whole group, S4, or it's even permutations, A4, or Klein's four group. Nothing else can happen. And again, it's not isomorphism classes. These are actual groups. As, sub as isomorphism classes, this will be just, um, okay, that's some interesting group of order 12. And this is a group z over 2z times z over 2z. So one can check that this is a product of two cyclic groups. But that's kind of different question. z over 2 times z over 2. And, um, uh, and in this way, we understood all normal subgroups of S4. And of course, when you think about that, you might expect that we take S5, S6, and so on. The story becomes more and more complicated. But actually, what happens is that for S5, it's only A5. For S6, it's only A6. And so on, starting with 5, Sm has only one normal subgroup, An. And An has no normal subgroups. So this is what uh, uh, we'll see uh, uh, in uh, the homework later on.